This is a list of parts that we've got to get to cutting out because we're going to put together this thing to hold this thing, which you saw in the last episode on the mid-engine build. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got everything prepped and laid out on the table. I finished cutting all of my parts, cleaned them all up, uh, removed a lot of the scale and any kind of uh, contaminants that are gonna get the welds dirty. So some of the things you're gonna notice are a little bit different than what you saw in the CAD is I added some tab and slot features that's gonna help locate uh, some of the components here. But besides that, everything is good to go. And I have test fit both the trans mount and the engine mounts on the uh, drivetrain over there and it worked out perfect so let's get to welding
Okay, so last night I reached a pretty big milestone and I got the fabrication to a level where I could actually mount the drivetrain to it. Um, I did not fully weld out everything just yet. I'm gonna be taking the drivetrain back off to do that work, but I did wanna get it here to make sure that no warping or misalignment or anything like that was occurring before finally putting in this base plate down here and the two stands for the engine mounts itself. So with everything in place, it's looking pretty good. The only hiccups I ran across were um, the alignment of my hole in the tubing for the engine mount itself. Not the, not the plate pieces, but the actual vertical piece of tubing. Uh, some, I don't know if it was my drill press or just the way I aligned my jig to, to start poking holes in it. In any case, I missed by hair in, in, in both directions, causing that bolt to want to walk a little bit. So that's why there's a little bit of misalignment there, but I'll clean that up with a die grinder. Um, it's not gonna affect what I wanna do with the stand or anything like that, so it should be good to go. So, drivetrain off, gonna clean some of that work up, finish welding it out where it needs welds, and paint it, assemble it, and then get that bottom shelf on there that I talked about to store some other good stuff. So, let's get to that. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the engine stand build. I'm really happy with how this thing came out. Dimensionally, it lined out exactly as I had it in the CAD system, even though I did position some of these features uh, by bolting on those engine mounts before actually welding them in place. That's exactly what the 3D scanner combined with the CAD is supposed to kind of produce, but it's always good to put it, put it together with good fabrication techniques, but then also double check it to make sure, you know, things are working as they should. So we're good there. First and foremost, it holds up the drivetrain, so it's doing that for me, and it also provides all that cool storage, which I've already filled up. So the stuff that I've got coming up next is not gonna fit, and I'll have to figure that out. Uh, I'll be able to get to my exhaust system, my intake, and I can even kind of bolt or attach other features onto here, like a small fuel tank and fuel pump setup, and uh, even a radiator or something like that if I really wanted to try and run this as a test stand setup. So that's pretty cool and I'm looking forward to doing that. In the next video, we're jumping into a completely different subsystem and I will explain why I've got to tear apart this Toyota Prius steering wheel and uh, get some parts out of it that I really, really need to make work uh, in this car. So if you're excited or you're interested in hearing more about that, Stick around, subscribe, uh, bell, or whatever that other stuff is that you need to do. Uh, if you want to see the first video where I actually 3D scan this setup to then design this stand, uh, go ahead and check it out right over here. Other than that, thanks for sticking around and thanks for watching.